The Skylight user interface is the answer to creative workflow management. Skylight technology offers users flexible access to powerful viewing options in any project environment. Imagine a workflow where every aspect is on standby in a completely customizable workspace, from what you see to how you see it and where it belongs at any time. That's Skylight. The control bar has always been the main go-to area in any production environment but only Sonar engages users with the most powerful, flexible, and easy to use control bar in the industry. Let's take a quick look at some new control bar tools and features in Sonar's latest software. And new to Sonar's control bar are two modules. One is the custom module here. Right-clicking on a custom button like this reveals all the possible programmable functions that can now be assigned to any one of them. Once assigned, these buttons are ready to access. They can also be renamed if necessary. Next is the new Mix Recall module. With it, users can save different scenes of their mixes at any point during a session and recall them at any time quickly and easily. All of these modules each provide a unique function. They can all be reordered to taste by selecting them at their grab points, like this, and simply shifting them around to taste. Sonar offers users quite a few modules to customize the control bar with. This level of flexibility can only be found here in the new Sonar. Imagine having effortless routing, viewing, and creative workflow possibilities in every project. The latest Sonar audio production software by Cakewalk offers users exactly that and more. Let's pick a track to get started, like our bass guitar here. Stacking effects means having creative signal flow and total control over track inserts. To begin, let's view our rack menu options. Either left-click the Add icon here in our effects bin area, or right-click in the bin itself. Now, as I populate the effects bin on our track with selected effects, watch how the effects bin area dynamically grows to accommodate our inserts. The effects are neatly stacked, now representing an effects chain that we're creating. Let's take a listen. The new dynamic sends work in a similar fashion. Initially, every unused track send is grayed out, meaning it simply isn't being routed anywhere yet. To create a send, Right click on the send or left click the add icon here. Now make your selection. Sonar's insert send assistant is a handy feature to help get started. From here, let's create a new bus. We'll give it a name and even choose the desired effect. You'll now see our new bus in our bus pane area and our corresponding track send is not only active but labeled too. Each track send features pre and post fader options, levels, and pan controls. Next, simply repeat this process for the following track sends as necessary and for any additional tracks too. As you can see, our tracks dynamically grow as our mixes progress. With the new dynamic sends and effect stacking, Sonar makes it easy to stay organized and creative throughout your entire project. The Pattern Tool is a creative editing feature that will easily integrate into any workflow. Think of it as an updated copy and paste function, but with selective and modular features. You can access the new pattern mode under the Draw Tool drop-down here in our Tools module in our control bar, 
or typing T on your keyboard to call up the tools at our mouse location and select it from here. The pattern tool icon is a paint roller. With it, we can roll MIDI data onto our track. For example, with our smart tool or selector, let's choose an area of our file. Use snap to grid if necessary. Now, select our pattern tool. Moving the pattern tool to the lower half of the track, our cursor changes to the pattern tool icon. Now click and drag in our track and a copy of the selected MIDI file can be painted, rolled onto the track that easily. Continuous rolling will repeat the selected pattern and rolling back will remove the potentially pasted notes. Once you release, the file is set. Here's a quick tip. You could use this feature to create and save some favorite MIDI clips by dragging them to a selected folder here in the media browser and renaming them for future use. You can build a stockpile of your favorite go-to MIDI clips. And speaking of the media browser, Sonar's new pattern tool can be utilized directly from a selected MIDI clip in the browser pane. If I choose a file and simply bring my cursor anywhere here in the bottom half of the MIDI track to show the pattern tool roller, click, drag, and start painting that file onto the track directly, rolling data on and rolling data off till releasing the roller and the file is set. Finally, let's see the pattern tool in Sonar's new PRV. Double click the file header or select this corner clip icon for more options and choose Piano Roll. Sonar's new PRV has dynamically changed viewing capabilities. Zooming into MIDI data presents much larger and clearer MIDI notes for faster editing. Let's select some MIDI notes with the selector tool. Next, switch to the pattern tool. We can now roll paint a copy of that data anywhere following on the MIDI track. A new creative added feature now allows us to select a different root starting note from our original copy. By holding the shift key and painting, the data can begin on the new selected MIDI note we roll on. Take note of Sonar's new controller pane here below the PRV. If you don't see it, come up to Views and select it here. This active controller is set for velocities. If MIDI notes are overlapping, you can now see them as overlapping bars here of different color in the velocity controller. Just select the top of each bar to adjust them individually. Now with no MIDI notes selected currently, simply click and drag with your draw tool here in the velocity pane to draw in your velocity settings. Note how the above MIDI notes slightly change color to indicate the velocity strength lighter colors for less, and more bolder colors for more velocity. Let's create a new controller here in our controller pane. Click the Add symbol here next to the existing velocity controller. Choose our MIDI event type to control, say volume for example, and here our new volume controller lane appears. One can click and drag with the draw tool here to create volume control parameters freely for example. Flexible, fast, and creative. Pro Channel is a unique and powerful suite of world-class production plugins in the new Professional and Platinum Series software by Cakewalk. Think of these plugins as a virtual side rack of gear capable of representing thousands of dollars in Pro Studio hardware. This represents a very small look into this tremendous suite of world-class professional plugins. Although powerful, Sonar's Pro Channel modules all utilize low CPU usage and offer countless flexible routing options. Check it out today in the new Professional 
and Platinum Series software by Cakewalk. Audio Snap has long been a go-to application for tempo editing for years now, and the latest version featured here in Sonar Platinum and Professional brings even better detection and transform capabilities. You can select a single track or a group of tracks to get started. Next, under Views, in our menu bar, Audio Snap is about halfway down. The keyboard command is Alt plus A. This will open the application. Much of the latest Audio Snap features are improvements under the hood, and the Audio Snap user interface has been updated, making it more streamlined and easier to use. Transient detection, time stretching, tempo mapping, quantizing, and so much more. Any selected tracks will be instantly ready to edit by activating Audio Snap here first. Deactivating the application will release the track back to original form. Starting with the threshold slider, this will increase the transient detections for each track selected. Once satisfied, the markers are now individual editing points. Each marker line can be used to adjust beats and rhythmic performances to taste. Addictive Drums is a world-class best-selling virtual instrument capable of near-limitless beat creation, mixing, and editing. Version 2 offers not only more drums, but more powerful and easy tools for sounds and rhythm creation, ready for any project and genre of music possible. Let's take a quick look at Addictive Drums 2 in the new Sonar Platinum software. Creating a virtual instrument using Addicted Drums 2 here in Sonar Platinum couldn't be easier. Just simply open our browser window and under Instruments, choose VST2 Plugins. Here you'll find our installed instruments. I'll choose Addicted Drums 2 and simply drag it onto my tracks view. After choosing our synth options, just simply hit OK, and the track will be created for us automatically. Let's expand that. By double-clicking on the track icon, we'll open up the Addicted Drums 2 welcome window. Now this window allows us to see what kits we have installed, and we can also preview and download some right from XLN Audio. Let's take a listen to some of these kits. Following that, we have the kit page. Now, these kit piece browsers are little mini browsers. It shows us which pieces make up that kit we selected as a whole. Now, we can actually use these to change unique instruments that we have loaded here. I can open my load icon here, and we can choose different drums. And how they're played as well. And when we find one we like, we can hit OK. We can also do that with these up and down arrows as well. Let's take a listen to this and do it in real time. And when we find one we like, we're all set. We also have three flexible channels here for loading other instruments and sound effects that we can trigger with the snare and kick drum. Below that, we've got our channel strips and direct outs for each one of these channels so we can populate our sonar track view with individual tracks related to these kit pieces for further and articulate mixing within Sonar Platinum itself. Following that, we've got the edit page. This allows us to contour the color, shape, and sound of each instrument. Simply select one, and we can change the pitch, the volume filter, and so on. Below that, we've got our master section, where we can apply compression, EQ, tape saturation, and such to each kit piece. It's very, very limitless, and the power is amazing here. Following that, we've got the effects page. Now, above each channel, you can see we've got sends here. Let's turn them up a little bit. And we've got effects two here below and effects one above. We can turn them each on and off. And these are a unique combination of either reverb or delay, depending on where I move the slider. I can have a combination, a blend of each. Let me deactivate effects two, and let's hear the reverb on effects one. Let's turn it up a little bit. Let's activate effects two. We'll put that one on delay, and let's hear that effect. Mm -hmm. 
So we can actually balance and change between the two effects accordingly. The next one is the Beats page. In this browser window, we can see what kits we have installed, and we can actually choose one and really get into the variations, the themes, how that kit is played for when we're building our drum track. Let's take a listen. I'll choose one here, for example. And to do so at any time within Addictive Drums 2, select any one of the rhythm samples and drag it onto the clips pane area. The drums are now visible, ready to play, edit, or continue building with. Sonar Professional Edition includes Addictive Drums 2 Solo Bundle, while Sonar's Platinum Edition includes Addictive Drums 2 Producer Bundle. Both bundles are guaranteed to deliver outstanding drums and rhythmic creation, all within the power and flexibility of Cakewalk Sonar software. New and available now, only in Cakewalk Sonar Platinum version software, is VocalSync. VocalSync is automatic audio alignment technology. With it, users can align and sync vocal and dialogue tracks in any session. Whether you're mixing or editing a session, Sonar makes it easy for you to stay creative with quick and easy access to these powerful features. Check it out today in the new Artist, Professional, and Platinum Series software by Cakewalk.